Hi, my name is Neira. I'm from the Things Industries and in this video I want to show you how to make an integration between the Things Stack and Data Cake. The prerequisites are as usual that you have an access to the Things Stack application with a device connected and some uplink traffic running and that you have a user account on Data Cake. When the integration is created, on DataCake, you will be able to receive uplink messages coming from the Things stack, but you will also be able to schedule a downlink message to be sent to your end device. So let's see what are the steps needed to be taken to create this integration. First, you need to go to DataCake to prepare the setup. Once you're in DataCake dashboard, find devices on the left-hand menu and select the Add Device button in the upper right corner in order to add a device. Here, choose Generic LoRa Device. Click Skip and then select the Things Industries adapter. Choose your plan and click Next. In this window, you need to provide a name for your device and its EUI. Once you've filled in these fields, just click the Add Device button on the bottom. Once your device has been created, you can switch to the Configuration tab and scroll down to LoRaWAN section. In this section, you need to provide a few values that are specific for your setup. To find your device's ID, go back to the Things Stack console, go to the Applications menu, select your application, Find your device in the End Devices list and find End Device ID under General Information on the Overview tab. Copy that ID and just paste it in the TTI Dev ID field. Next, you need to provide TTI Server URL. This depends on which server you are using. Now, you need to provide a TTI app ID, which you can find if you go back to the ThingStack console, find your application, and under general information, find application ID. Copy it to clipboard and paste it in TTI app ID field. And last, you need to obtain TTI API key. To do so, go back to the Things Stack console, find API keys on the left-hand menu, and click the Add API key in the upper right corner. Give a name to your API key and check the box to grant all rights. To finish, click the Create API key button on the bottom. When you are presented with this window, Click this copy button in order to copy API key. Verify that you have copied it. Go back to Data Cake and paste it in the TTI API key field. When you have provided all the information needed, just click the Save Changes button. Now you need to go back to the ThingStack console in order to create a webhook integration. On the left hand menu, find Integrations and click Webhooks. In the upper right corner, click the Add Webhook button and select Data Key. Here, you need to provide an ID for your webhook and you need to provide an API token from Data Cake. You can find an API token if you go back to Data Cake, scroll up, click on your avatar, then select Edit Profile on the left-hand menu. When presented with this window, click API, show your API token, select it and copy it to clipboard. Now go back to the Things stack and just paste it in the token field. When you have filled these fields, click the Create Data Cake Webhook button. Now the integration has been created so you can go back to Data Cake and switch to Debug tab. 
Here, you can see that the messages have already started to arrive and you can also notice that they are in raw format, which means that you need to use Datacake's features like Payload Decoder in order to manipulate this data that's coming from the Things stack. Next, I will show you how to schedule a downlink message with Datacake. Switch to Downlinks tab and select the Add Downlink button on the right. First, you need to provide a name for your downlink. And since this is just an example, I will use payload encoder function that can be found in Datacake official documentation page. Other fields like description or fields used are left blank. Scroll down and save downlink. Now, you only need to click this send downlink button in order to schedule a downlink message. I will press this button and go back to the Things Stack console and check the Live Data tab for my end device to see if the message has really been scheduled for a downlink. You can see that within a few moments, a downlink message with F port 1 and payload I defined in the payload encoder function in Datacake downlink window is really being scheduled to be sent to my end device. So that would be it for this video. Thank you a lot for watching and make sure to check out all the cool features Datacake offers.